Fish on, fish on, come get it, come get it, come get it. He don't know he's hooked yet. All right, we are out here using the brand new Striper Stealth prototypes. All right, that's it, man. And this feels good too. And I think you got the. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed this up a touch, and I'll, we'll keep that fish right here. I have these two eels dragging in the water right here, just so you know. So we don't want to get too much farther back there, but. <laughs> yeah look at that you see these rods are perfect because number one the soft tip is why we hooked up period right and now even though you had that soft tip you're not we're not giving up anything you can see right about that guide there that backbone really comes into play the trick is to wear the fish out you don't need to horse them but you need to fight that fish with the backbone see the, you have the rod bent right to the backbone if you don't have it bent to the backbone, right. you're, you're not wearing that fish out. Right. So it only needs a couple pounds of drag to get to that backbone. Just make sure you're there. This is the medium action on this one. Yeah, the, I like these mediums, man. Oh, yeah, that fish feels good. That feels good. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, everything has to be soft when you're fishing with bait for striped bass. I imagine catfish as well has to be soft because you don't want that fish to feel you and drop the bait you know exactly. Exactly. number one you got to hook the fish right number That's one right. you can't right. catch them if you don't hook them so the soft tip is number one after that is the backbone especially with those circle hooks yeah you saw the white of that bow and then they don't like it <laughs> yeah swing the boat towards the fish right here and we keep that fish right here see the way it stays just there I know this is running out we even have the in the net oh yeah oh, that is so awesome <laughs> Dude, that is awesome I love it where do you want me to put this you can put it right in the rod holder all right I'm gonna hand you this. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get it right back in the water real quick. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh boy. That's a good get started. That's a good warm up fish. <laughs> Dude, we'll take it. See the sea lights all over? I will take it. Yeah, I see exactly what you mean. Yeah, these come, that means the fish came just in from the ocean. Once they're up here in the more fresh water, they start to drop off. So I'm gonna Look at that right in the top of the mouth, that Perfect. circle hook. That fish was not going to come off. Perfect. That's it. Beautiful fish. How pretty is that? That's gorgeous. I'm having some fun with these new prototype uh, striper stealth rods. Catch the fever. They'll be out. How, how long do you think before they'll be available? Uh, we hope to have them uh, at least by uh, January, February. Have them available on the market. All right. Online at catchfever.com or at your uh, authorized Catch Fever retailer. And that was the medium we caught that one on. Right? That was the medium action. Yeah. And that felt really good. It, on it really stage. did. I think the medium might be fine for. Uh, yeah. You know, for... Felt like I had plenty of control. Yeah, control. absolutely. And I love fighting the fish. If you, you have something that's not getting bent and, and you're not able to enjoy the fight i mean sure what's the point exactly you know? yeah that dorsal's popped up anytime you're ready i think, right. I think we're good oh, yeah. sweet girl that's so awesome. Nice man. work, brother. Thanks so much, Mike. That's right. That's right. So uh, I resisted as long as I could. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, go get him. Oh, that's a good one. Right. All right, Caleb is buttoned up with a good one. You can see right away how Caleb has got the rod super high, and he's not bringing it very low even when he's pumping. He's only coming down about a foot or two. And that's the perfect way to do it because this fish is so far out. If this fish was 
straight down under us, you can do those long sweeping pumps and crank in between pump and take. But when the fish is out that far and he's near the top, if you start dropping it, you are pointing at the fish, there's a good chance you're gonna drop the hook right out of that hole. So we don't take these big sweeping pumps. These are circle hooks. Circle hooks all have tiny barbs. They have tiny barbs because the circle hook sinks better. You know, with that small barb. So we don't want these big hard pumps. That's why we love mono too. Fish out here, now the boat fish is next to us. The trolling motor is only on one or two. The trolling motor's on one or two, but that fish is on three or four. <laughs> That's the truth. And uh, I mean, if we can keep it right here in the back corner of the boat, hopefully we don't get into any trouble. This is the medium, tray medium action, right? Yep, this is the medium action. Yep. Speed up a little bit. Back off the drag distance. That's right. Inside the boat. Yes, sir. That's another one that people tell me to shut up about. <laughs> that fish gets close, back it off just a touch. If you lose it, it's going to be on that short line when you lose all your stretch, right? Yes. Let's see this baby. What do we got? Look how pretty that really is. Really nice fish. Look how pretty that is. I don't, she don't like that net. Oh! He's in it. Getting bigger! Heck yeah! Getting bigger! <laughs> Good fish, bro. I like it. Mmm. Nice and bronze, man. These are so pretty up here. Look at that. Good job, brother. I like it. Alright, right, we're releasing this fish. And I like to use a boga grip to release this fish, but you can see. He's not just lifting it. I, I don't think it really hurts the fish to lift it, but support the belly. Can't hurt, right? No, no, absolutely not. Cradling it. Yeah. And we got the troller motor working at four tenths of a mile an hour. We're not going too fast, just like the other one. This bronze fish. And the dorsal fin's already up, but we know this fish is tired, so we're gonna still give it a minute. The only way a 50 is going to turn into a 60 is if you let it go. That's right. And a 50 can turn into a whole lot of 60s. <laughs> yeah. Lots of eggs. <laughs> Use your judgment, man, whenever you think she feels good. Yep. Ooh, nice. That's what we like to see. Good job, brother. Thanks, Mike. Nice work, bro. You see the school of fish we just passed by. You see their shadows giving them away. These fish aren't very big. These are in the five to 10 pound range. We've been seeing a lot of these schoolies today. You see some more coming in. You can see some more on the 2D chirp sonar. This is a high chirp. This is a 275 low high wide. And that is a TM150 medium. You see they both do really well. you are getting a little more separation with the 275, but the 150 medium is doing great too. You see how we just kind of split that school. Small fish. This is the active imaging transducer. Testing version. See how our boat presence pushed these fish down. These aren't what we're looking for, but it's really cool to see signs of life like that. So they would have been a great day to tie a jig on. Just drop one down every oh, time yeah. you see that. Yeah. Yeah, Want me to tie one on there? Huh? Want me to tie one on there? Yeah, we can. Yeah. There he is. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Caught it on the fall. Nice. So you can see what we saw under the boat. We're pulling eels. And we've been tempted all day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these thick schools. It's fun on that, that little it is. ray, right? Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He came up and smacked the front of it as it was passing. Yep. Wow, those are small fish, huh? So now we know what we've been marking. This is it. All right? So that's about a probably a one pound fish. Come on ladies, come on ladies. One pound fish. 
That's what a one pound fish looks like. The fish on right there. Oh, you don't even know he's hooked. He don't even know he's hooked. You don't crack him in. Crack, crack, crack. He's hooked now. Yep. He's hooked now. That was such a soft bite. Yeah. It's because of that. It's because of that soft tip. Yeah. That's what it is. That fish had no idea trouble was up, right until the backbones, and that's when he knew trouble. That's right. And it's too late at that point. That's it. <laughs> We're an e equal opportunity fisherman here. We'll take them all. That's right. Let's see if they're going to wrap to me. The TUS float got her. that 12 pounder get in there 10 pounder got in the mix he's swimming with the big girls so he is huge <laughs> beautiful fish good looking